Good evening, Northeast Kansas. Thanks for joining us here on KSNT News. Winter Wonderland is underway for the night. You have until 10 o'clock tonight to check it out and through all of December as well, through December 31st. A beautiful light display if you have not gone out yet. And overall for tonight, it'll be a nice and dry one to check out Winter Wonderland. Now, this camera, you can't really make out the clouds there, but they're still there, at least through the rest of the night tonight. But gradually, especially during the overnight hours, that cloud cover will finally start to get kicked out across the region. And especially by tomorrow afternoon, sunshine will make its return. And it begins a stretch of fairly sunny weather for at least the next few days, as well as comfortable temperatures. We stay mild across the board as well. Here in the capital city, though, still fairly comfy out there. We're sitting at 50 degrees on the dot. Winds have shifted in terms of direction, but still light at just three miles. Miles per hour. Overall, not the biggest jump in our temperatures throughout the day. We started off with a low of 46, made it up to 58 officially for today. But some of our northern areas fell all the way back into the 20s this morning. So it was a chilly start for them, but everyone still rebounded into the 50s. But now some of us are starting to fall back into the 40s. You're at 45 degrees in Hiawatha right now, 47 for Lawrence and 48 at Burlington. A little bit warmer in places like Manhattan and Junction City. You're both at 54 degrees right now. Now, the big difference for today compared to yesterday have been the winds, not breezy at all. In fact, many areas now just seeing a calm to light wind. Now, this is close to the surface. Now, higher up in the atmosphere, it's a different story. That's why you can see how quickly the clouds are moving because winds are much stronger higher up in the sky. And that's why we're still seeing the cloud cover stream in right now. We saw some breaks of sunshine earlier, got overran by the clouds as the day came to an end. And we're still looking at more cloud conditions or cloudy conditions through this evening because you can see a good portion of the Great Plains just dealing with mostly cloudy skies. You will notice some clearing though in the western portion of the Dakotas. This will continue pushing its way to the south and east, and that's when we'll gradually start to clear things out. Future Track does a good job of picking up on that. Now, through the rest of the year evening, still partly to mostly cloudy conditions, but notice what happens during the overnight hours. Some of that gets kicked out, but not entirely. However, enough breaks in the cloud cover will allow temperatures across the board to fall to chilly levels, about 30 degrees or so. Now, as you head out the door tomorrow morning, just some lingering clouds at this point, and especially by tomorrow afternoon. A bounty of sunshine returns a little to no cloud cover will be the case as you're heading home from work or school. For tonight, though, that cloud cover starts to push out, coupled with a light and variable wind, and that's why it will fall back to 35 degrees here in the capital city. A look at your KSNT Storm Track 7 day forecast shows that sunny stretch of weather begins tomorrow and lasts through the next few days as temperatures get back into the 60s for the weekend as well. We'll see some more clouds build in come Sunday with a slight chance of rain come Monday. That looks to be due to our next cold front that's going to push through behind it more seasonal temperatures return we'll be back in the upper 40s which is right around our average high for this time of year all right well at least it's not terribly terribly cold and that's no. the biggest thing yeah even leading into december still pretty nice yeah, it really is i i turned on my heater the other day and i was like do i even need this probably not <laughs> I know. well you're home